question. All right, so this is going to be an Arcana Heart 3 Love Max tutorial. Uh, this is kind of aimed at new players and players such as uh, Stumbler here who have not played the game for very long and you know, don't really know that much about how to use homing in the game and how to defend, more importantly, how to defend against people homing at you. So that's going to be uh, the subject of this tutorial. Uh, so let me start with just some real quick uh, demonstration. Okay, so what? how do you home at people? Because I've been playing a lot on Steam recently and people don't do this, but you can actually just jump, press the homing button and press jump beat. And boom, you fly at people and just kick them. Like, it's really good, you know, you can be yeah. anywhere and just boom, right? Um, related, tangentially, uh, a lot of your strings on the ground can be jump canceled. So you can jump cancel and do it. Mm, there's some pressure and you can do the B, jump cancel, or jump beat. Etc. Yeah, but you should explain to uh, like the fast homing and slow homing, right? Yep, because if yeah. yeah, so if you're at this distance, right, it's pretty slow to home when people you're like, do -do 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 -do. But, um, if you press the D button, the homing button twice though, just like this. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little it's tricky, faster. but yeah, you go. It, it they call it speed homing, but it's actually like a speed boost. And um, if you cancel the speed boost into an attack. You go flying, kind of like this, so if you press a direction, you go flying in that direction, right? If you don't press anything, you, like, it's, you kind of slow down back again, but, um, yeah, you know, experiment with it, but yeah, just press D, D, and press an attack and kick them. It's a lot faster than just, like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and obviously, should be harder to end here because of how fast it is. So yeah, that's, um, simple homing stuff. Uh, I want to do, like, a whole tutorial on the homing mechanic in general, because, I mean, there's just so many cool things you can do with it, like cross-ups, like that, oh god, that, that you can combo from if you don't mess it up. You can, like, get around here and then cross up pretty easily like that. That's just homing and you hold forwards as you're homing, and it crosses up, whoops. Uh, well, I did it the first time. So, anyway, um, and like, when you speed homing, right, like, you can, from this distance, right, you know, if someone's going to anti you, you can actually just home into the ground to bait out, you know, DPs, flash kicks, etc. And from up here, you can actually use speed homing to, like, change your angle and, like, come down almost vertically instead of, you know, flying into the anti-air. So there's, there's a lot you can do with it, but, uh, you know, you'd have to experiment for yourself and, you know, get used to it, I guess. Yeah, you, you can see, you can see there's a lot of potential there. So anyway, um, let's talk about how to deal with people homing at you now, because that seems like kind of, you know, a really important thing if you don't want to get frustrated at people doing this and you're like, what do I do about that, you know? Um, so I'm going to start off with some options that, you know, it kind of depends on the connection quality. If the connection's really bad, it's like trying to uppercut someone in Street Fighter 4 if they jump at you. If the connection is really bad, you just don't have the time to actually react and uppercut. So. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give you some options that you can use then, but, uh, alright, so the easiest thing to do, let me record something here, if someone does this, is just jump, just dash, jump, and, like, just dash at them and, oh, shit, just dash at them and hit them with jump in. Yeah, that's the easiest thing to do to anti people. Uh, it usually works best around this distance, you don't even have to dash, you just do whatever. So it works best around this distance. If they're, like, back here and they're speed homing at you or something, and you try to, yeah, yeah. you try to, and it kind of works, you know. Timing is more strict, I guess. Yeah. It, yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it, as they get farther away, this becomes, like, maybe less of a good option. But especially if someone's right here and they home at you, you can actually just hit them out of the homing before they can even block. Like, this is really good for um, comedy players because they have a really good far range jump A. It's like that kind of range. And yeah, you just jump it, like, yeah, just hit them out of the air. So yeah, that's that's one option. Um, another thing, this works best if they're kind of coming in at a low angle like this, is like, see if I try to jump, <laughs> but you can see how fast the speed bone is, right? Yeah, see, it doesn't work that well. So a key thing you can do is if you dash and press 5A, the dash is going to change their spacing. So right now, this is spaced to attack me right there, right, where my face is. But if I dash, it changes the spacing. And um, Saki's 5A is not that good. <laughs> so it's actually not working. <laughs> but uh, let me use this button. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 
it, it works better with some characters than with others. Um, and what's the other thing is that this move I'm doing with Saki, this jump E, is a really, really good jump in. So yeah. it, it, it works like maybe something like this. You can mess up by dash. Oh, not even. Yeah, Saki's 5A is not really a good anti-air. Yeah, but um, that's something you can keep in mind. It works better with Vice because her 5A hits kind of way above it. Anyway, um, you can actually, let me see if this will work with Saki. But this, this some shorter characters like Moral, you can actually dash. Just like dash under attacks. Or nice. uh, Saki can like slide under them. Because normally when you're attacking, right, you're going to hit their head. You don't yeah. want to, you know, attack it and like, hit their feet, right? Like, because yeah. you'll just get anti air more easily. So usually people come and hit the head. Whoops. And you can actually just, you know, dash under it. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. surprisingly good. I wonder if I can actually just dash in 5A. Almost. So yeah, there's that option too. It's a little bit risky. Um, okay, what else? If they're at a distance like this, you can kind of super jump away from them like that, and then homing and follow it up. Because, like that. So, a lot of times when people are flying around and pressing buttons, right? If, you know, if I whiff something, I land over here, I might just jump again. And, you know, it's kind of kind of hard. Sometimes it can be really hard to pin someone down. You know, everyone's jumping everywhere. But if you do this, and, like, they whiff their jumping, then now you're in a really good position. Because now they have to, like, you have a huge initiative there where you just hone in on them and they're on the ground. So, probably it's going to force them to block. Um, what else can you do? You can actually air backdash as well. Like, maybe it's going to be a little bit tricky. It's not really working too well from that angle. Maybe if I do this. That didn't even try to hit me. Yeah. So, like, if you... So, um, yeah, I'll try to do this right. All right. So if I'm, like, in the air here, right? You can see there, the jump in is going to be spaced to hit someone at about that space. But if you air backdash, it'll mess up. Again, like, it's like dashing forward. It messes up kind of the timing of the jump attack. It's kind of the same as backdashing in virtual. Like, right? Yeah, yeah. Or like that thing you did in Mortal Kombat where yeah. you, like, <laughs> instead of blocking, you walk backwards because you forgot there was a block button and you just, <laughs> it just caused things to whip. <laughs> yeah. Like, as you get to a higher level, may maybe it won't apply so much at a low level, but at a high level especially, you want people to whiff their jump-ins because you can punish them or at least force them to block on the ground if they whiff something. So yeah, use that option too. Whoops. Yeah. Well, you get the idea. Um, so anyway, a lot of these kind of rely on you. I mean, you can guess and just jump at people and jump A in like lag, and maybe they'll run into it. You're not gonna know because the lag is so bad you can't react anyway. But um, so you can jump around and do this, or just kind of jump around like that, holding and hope for the best. But um, if the lag is really bad, you can. Oh wait, let me put it on block. If the lag is really bad, you can just block their jump in, and when they go for like a pressure string, guard cancel and... Wow, really? <laughs> Whatever, I'll just go do 2A. So yeah, you just you just block the first hit, guard cancel forward, ABC. What happens is, like, in this string, right, comes in and does 2A, 2A, you know, whatever. When the clash happens, so I guard cancel, see, uh, I don't know if you saw it there, but 5A comes out. Because the game doesn't let you, there, the game doesn't let you cancel into the same ground normal after a clash. So if you clash with your 2A and you're mashing A to get this, you're actually going to get 5A. Which whiffs over a lot of, for a lot of characters, their 5A whiffs over crouching characters. So that's why this works. Even though it's the same, like my 5, my 2A is as fast as, you know, my own 2A, but they're getting 5A instead and it's whiffing. That's why that works. Excuse me. You can also just guard cancel forward and throw, which should be pretty much everything except three, like maybe a Kane and Clarice have moves that are faster than two or three frames. That could hit you out of that. So yeah, so throw should be almost any ground attack. Um, and lastly, if you have like a reversal, you can do it. Yeah, or backwards guard cancel too can work. But again, it, it depends. So whether you use backwards or forwards guard cancel depends on, like, okay. So there you can see what happens if like you don't cancel into a special and you backwards guard cancel. <laughs> yeah. So if your character has a good air special like this, oops, then you can backwards guard cancel and you can pretty quickly cancel it into a special like that. Or if you have a good DP, you forward guard cancel and cancel into it like that. Um.
Yeah. Oh, so that's why. Oh, yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's it's particularly effective online because yeah. they can't react to you. Yeah. Like if I'm doing this online, I can't react to you whether you got hit or yeah. blocked it. Like if I'm playing offline, I can be like, oh, he blocked it. I better watch out for the yeah. guy cancel, or maybe I'll bait it by jumping away, right? Yeah. But online, I just have to guess. Okay, he probably got hit. I'm gonna go in, and then you know, yeah. you just get blown up by guard cancel. Catherine doing her lariat <laughs> spin. Or yeah, that's what plastic. I was thinking about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that move is pretty crazy off um, online. It's good offline too, because yeah. even offline players will sometimes just not respect you and just yeah, go in. and you can like backward guy cancel into it. Yeah, <laughs> yep. that's yeah. what I wanted to do. Um, little note here. Oh wait, let me see if I can get this. This might be hard. There's, I can't, I don't have flash kick cards, that's why. So, when you backwards guard cancel, you're invincible in the air, and there's like maybe one or two frames when you land, where you still have, like, actually you might lose invincibility on the first frame that you land, but if you do an invincible ground move, like a flash kick, on the first frame that you land from that, uh, you know, the invincibility just, you're always invincible, so they can't really punish it. But it's a little tricky at a time, not really recommended for online play. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just something to point out. Usually if you have a good ground reversal, they'll just do a full guard cancel. Which I guess can be a little tricky to time because it's online. So you might want to like time it like later. Is that yeah. Alright, so yeah, that's a really good technique. Um if you want to know how to counter someone doing that counter, uh usually the best thing to do is just jump away. And then they'll like do whatever their reversal is, and you're all the way over here. And even in like the worst connections, you can press the homing button and you know get a punish. So yeah. Um, actually, and something that's not on this list that I should have written down is uh, this only really works in good connections and offline. Um, great. Is okay. So there's a little string, right? You can dot. You can spot dodge the jump in by pressing back and homing. Back and oh. homing is fully invincible. Like, I didn't um, know that actually. <laughs> whoops. A little hard to do. There you go. Yeah. It's fully invincible for like 10 frames, I think. Um, a little bit less in the air, but air is the same thing. Yeah. So you can, you know, just dodge their jumping. Because, you know, their, their attack stream is timed like that, right? Yeah. But if you dodge the first hit, you know, it just screws everything up. Um,. Obviously online this is hard because A, you have to actually time it right, if you don't you get a guard cancel and maybe die. And B, like, they probably don't know their own timing. So they're probably gonna come in matching like, yeah. like, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and then something will probably hit, right? If they do that and you try to do this, yeah, yeah it actually option selects. So there, there's a counter to that counter as well. You just come in and mash buttons. <laughs> and if the jump in whiffs, you get, you know, whatever. Yeah, you hit trade or something, yeah. yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like I've I've tried to do that online, and I usually just get blown up because people don't even know what they're gonna do when they home it. Yeah, <laughs> it just it's just a mess. But um, offline, I mean, it's really powerful. Whoops, that's the option select. Because you know, offline, if it, you pull it off, you get a combo, and now like everything is way better. So yeah, that's um, I guess that's the, basically what I wanted to cover. Um, I don't think I miss much else. Um, so there's some characters who do have dedicated anti-air normals. Uh, Saki kind of does with her 6C. It actually, what happened there is it's got a clash frame on part of the startup, which is what you're seeing there. You can just hit them with, oh, if you hit them with the foot and they like, it clashes, that's kind of bad. That's pretty bad actually. But, um, bullshit. Yeah, see that's, that's what happens if you mess it up. It's it's actually not a good answer there. It's just just it's, it's there. It's not good though. Um, but some characters have really really good normals for anti airing people. Uh, also, Tui is not a good. Answer. Don't don't try this. See, yeah, don't. <laughs> it's you can use this for combos. But um, oh, you know what? There's one more thing I should cover before I start going into some character specific anti airs. It's uh pressure like this. So in this game. A lot of moves are either jump cancelable or in this case super jump cancelable. And that's also super jump cancel, normal jump, etc. And that lets you, you know, reset pressure by homing in on people. And they have to like block high. And if it's net play, they're probably not gonna block high in time because the connection's bad, they get hit like that. <laughs> so you might think, you know, well what do I do about this? Um this pressure's actually pretty bad. <laughs> 
Because yeah. you just get jabbed out of it. <laughs> and yeah, or I mean, if you have a flash kick, you can react to the homing. Or if it's net play, maybe you can't react to the homing. Yeah, you guess. How I found out what was like homing cancelable is like when I would play, I would just like, every time I would attack, I would like mash homing and see what happens. Like if you just want to find out what you can <laughs> homing cancel. That's a good idea. That's what too. I did, like to, yeah. just to get the idea of what you can and can't homing <laughs> cancel. That's a good idea. Yeah. You can you can home and cancel almost anything. Yeah. Uh, a good a good counter example is Kira's body splash. Well, I was playing yeah. Fiona, and like there's a lot of things that I couldn't, right? Probably like yeah. super super yeah. like Excalibur. You can't home and cancel. Yeah. Which is important. Yeah. Um. This isn't related to the tutorial, but it's like a reverse like a block. You can home and cancel it usually if you have the meter. Um. That's why a lot of the times if you want to beta reversal, like. You gotta make it whip like that. Like, mm -hmm. Gotta cancel flash kick! No, okay. Oh wow. <laughs> well, you know, you get the idea. Um, the, the, the kind of bait might depend a little on um, what kind of a. Uh... Yeah, it depends on what their <laughs> reversal is. So, yeah, usually jumping away will work in that situation. Yeah. Sometimes maybe you have like a neat little trick. Ha, <laughs> that does work. Yeah. So yeah. Um Yeah. So yeah, if anyone does this kind of pressure to you, you just just jab them out of the air. Or you know, you can rise and jump A them as well. So when they own you, that's when you hit, right? Whoops, I got a special. Uh pardon? When they home, that's when you hit, right? Yeah, try to home it, as yeah. soon as you see them home like that, yeah. yeah, you just punch them. It's really, it's not good at all. Um, I think some characters like Heart, like Heart, like Usaki, this move, the C move, it's got a lot of blocks done, but I can't jump cancel it, I have to super jump cancel it, yeah. and that adds a lot of frames to my pressure. Also, well, maybe that's why I thought I couldn't cancel it, I had to like super jump cancel yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, there's some moves that you just have yeah. to super jump cancel That would make sense a lot. And you can... Yeah, it's a healthy guy setup. Ooh, this is interesting. So there are some situations where you oh hey. There's some situations where you can't actually mash out of it, but um you can like mess them up in other ways, like 4D it. <laughs> or like flash kick. You know, etc. Um oh of course, I forgot about this. Uh you can just if you have your own burst gauge, you can use ABC and get your arcana blast and blast them off. Yep. So yeah, that's a really good option too. The only weakness, the main weakness to that option, um, obviously, it's like blockable. It's not like melted blood. So if they block it, you're pretty screwed. And um, if if you have a reversal, like a really good one, like a flash kick, I tend to recommend most of the time do the reversal flash kick because if they bait it and punish it, at least you have your burst. But you know, if you if you try to get up like this and they punish it, you can't burst. You don't have a burst until that gauge drains. And sometimes that means you lose the match. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, anyway, those are um those are the defensive options. There's there's a lot of defensive options to deal with people homing in at you. So even though it's it's a really good approach, um there's there's a lot of ways to counter it too, which is good. A little harder than that. Um it, I might make a more advanced tutorial where I go over homing, and in that I can talk about how you can fake out anti airs. Like, you know, if they try to last something like Like, if they have an anti like this, you can fake it out, for instance. Because Just because homing is so versatile. So, in some ways, it's like Street Fighter 4, where they jump and then you react to the jump and anti air it. But <clears throat> it's more like fighting a dive kick character because they can change the trajectory in the air. Maybe depending on the spacing, you need a different anti air. And I mean, in Arcana, you can just do things that, you know, just completely bait out and you know? So, yeah, there's like all kinds of things you can do. Um, yeah. Alright, so uh, let me, I guess I can now go over some of those dedicated character-specific anti-airs. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else for defensive options right now. Um, I guess if you have a super, I mean... <laughs> you have an invincible super, you can just match that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's kind of obvious, though. Yeah. So, alright, let's do some character-specific stuff. <clears throat> oh, 